Hi everybody, it's Emma from House Pro here. In today's video, let's cover how to create an estimate from scratch. So we'll learn how you can impress your clients with a professional estimate which you can create in minutes. To create an estimate from scratch, click on your Quick Create Estimate or click into your Estimates tab and click on New Estimate in the top right hand corner. This is going to allow you to create an estimate from scratch, which is what we'll do together. You can upload a PDF of an estimate you created externally to House Pro, or you can create an estimate from your template. When you create an estimate from scratch, you'll be able to come in and save it as a template to save you time down the track. Let's go ahead and create one from scratch. When you create your estimate, you'll be able to see your first section at the very top, which is called your general info. This is going to be your information, including your branding, and your client's billing information. To edit anything up here, click on the pen icon in the top right hand corner and this allows you to edit your document, billing and company information. For example, for your document you may want to set a due date, give it a custom document type, by default it's titled estimate but you may want to write um, quote. You've got your document title, here we might want to say estimate for bathroom, your document owner between you and your house pro team, and a custom document code. Once you save that, it'll override all of the details on your estimate. Below that, we've gone ahead and having a look at our line items. So this is where we can come in and start adding in all of your items from your library or from scratch. Before you start adding in your line items, you can come in and document your GST settings. Depending on your account settings in your financials and accounting section, you may have your GST set to default, either exclusive or inclusive. You can edit this on a document level by simply clicking in and changing your document settings. Let's go ahead and start adding in our line items. So click on add items and from the drop down create new. You'll need to create new line items for the very first time. Simply go through all the information that's available and fill them out as every field is relevant and will save you time down the track the more you fill out at this point. Just to skip ahead, I'm going to go through and add items from my library. All of these items are items I've added in the past, where I can click into each category and click on it to add it to my document. When you create your line items, you can click on the star icon and add it to your favourites. So this allows you to save them at the top which is handy for things that you use quite often. Simply click on the title of your line item and that will add it to your document. Once you've got a couple of line items in, you'll see them all load up and you'll be able to customise your document. For example, for my initial cost, um, installation cost, sorry, I might want to start customising. So it's probably quoting for about five hours of work. So I'm going to come in here and start customising all of my line items. And once you've added in all of the information, you'll also be able to actually click back into settings and show clients a description of each item or turn it off, as well as images supported. You can also come into manage columns and control what your client can see for each item. For example, if you don't want them to see the unit type, you can turn that off. Quantity type, you can customise all of the fields that are available here. What you'll be able to do from here is scroll down until we see our financials and you'll be able to check all of your totals. Scroll down and add in your payments. You may want to request a deposit of a certain percentage or dollar amount. So click on request deposit and customise what you want to request. For example, here we may want to request um, a certain dollar amount or a percentage where we can come in and customize the amount. We can have our payment terms on a certain time frame, or we can have a custom date where you can choose in your calendar. Once you set that up, you can schedule remaining payments which will automatically split the remaining amount. If you create two, it'll split it up equally besides your initial payment requested. You can give them titles, and you can also click in and customise the amount. If you want it to be 70 and then a straight maybe 20% after this, you can come in and customise that here. 
From here, you can customize the due date. And then once the document's approved, you can log that payment. We've also got files. So you can click on upload files and upload images from your computer. Just as an example, I'll go ahead and upload my logo, but you can upload information such as care guides, inspirational images, anything relevant to yourself. Below that, we've got our terms and conditions where you can upload from your templates or customize what exists already. Memos, same thing, and then your signature. So here you'll be able to give your client the option to e-sign your document once they approve it. That just helps if they've gone ahead and approved it and then you've ordered your products and down the track they change their mind, you always have that signature as a reference. And then below that, we've got our activity stream. So this tracks all of the updates on your document. For example, when you sent it, when the clients received it, when they've approved it, and when payment gets logged. Everything you'll be able to check is always in your activity stream. One other handy tip is you're able to collapse each field. If you feel like that's not quite important to view right now, you can collapse it and have a look at everything per each category or even change the order if you need to as well. Once you've set all of that up, you'll be able to click on preview and share in the top right hand corner to send this off to your client. Before you do that, hop into more actions and you can see a couple of interactions you can do. You can approve or decline the document as a whole on the client's behalf, or you can click approve per line item to approve or decline each line item on behalf of your client. If you've made a mistake, you can undo that product and tick it. You can approve each line item as individually or come into approve and decline all and approve them all at once. Once you click on save, you'll be able to come back into more actions and then edit these again. Once you click and save and submit, it locks in your document and you can't make any further edits unless you go back into more actions and reopen your document for editing. You've also got the option of creating your purchase orders, duplicate and editing your document, saving it as a template by giving it a title, also exporting it as a PDF. So that's how you can go ahead and create your proposal within minutes. And again, to share it, click on preview and share in the top right hand corner or copy a link which will automatically send your document but I always recommend clicking on preview and share and customizing what the client can see before you send it off. For more information on that, watch our video on how to preview and share your estimates. Give it a go and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.